What's up people, Dobbs Wolves is right here and welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh! card opening. Today, once again, if you guys have not heard already, check out this great awesome shop that I'm being sponsored by. They got called Soda. Check out on their Facebook, their Twitter and their official website. The um, Their um, links will be down below in the description aisle. They are absolutely amazing. They sell records, American candy, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic, all them types of great goodies that you guys would love. Even sell comic books. They're absolutely amazing. But please do check them out. They're absolutely amazing. But today, what are we going to look at today? Well, it is time and I have to face the music now. I have to review and plus my first looks of the new starter deck. And it is the Super Starter. Um, Space Time Showdown. I've looked at this a lot, a long time now. Um, to me, right now, from the very first throwdown, right now to you people, I have said to myself, even on Twitter and on Facebook, saying I do not like this type of cards. They look horrible. They're just like Magic. I know you guys might think Magic is amazing. It's a good game, but for me, Magic is not my kind of thing. I I don't like the kind of play down of it. But yet, yeah, I paid. Nine quid for this, well, eight ninety nine to get this set, and uh, I really want to get it just you know so I can get the collection sorted. And plus, it has a cool pack with it, so hopefully we get ourselves some great pulls for today. Um, so first off, let's have a look at it. So easy enough, it must have two great hollows right off the back, and then you get yourself a pack, which will guarantee you to get Odd Eye Dragon and the Black and the Dark Hole. Which are absolutely amazing. I love Dark Holes. So what could be bad could this be? Well to me, I need to check it out. Because what I'm going to do it today for you guys people. I'm going to open it up. Read both of these two cast effects. Look through the comments. And see what I really think about it. I've looked at them for, 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 um, in other channels. Like Simply Unlucky. And he says they're pretty damn good. But to me, I didn't really like them. The look of them, I don't like. So let's get this bad boy open. And check it out. Oh yeah, and uh, today I'll be using some Ultra Pro sleeves. Just a, just lovely blood red, just to feel the scene. So we get ourselves, as usual, a deck um, thing. And it's um, these new cards are called Pendulum Monsters. So it's I think it might be a new form of a, like a Synchro kind of thing. Really? It's not like the packs that we see in America. Right then, so that looks pretty damn retarded. So this is what I'm talking to you guys about. This. It is an effect monster, and then it turns into green like a spell. I'll tell you a lot of things what's bad about this, alright? I'll tell you that in a minute. But let's have a look at the... Um, you got yourself a new guide. Beginner's guide, right here. So you got yourself some new things, like a new, new form of effects... How to set the cards now, like new ones and everything. Like just normal comments and everything that we already know. Does it tell you about pendulum cards? Yes, it does. Um, hmm. Uh, yeah, okay. That looks really, really conf um, confusing. So let's have a look at the... Um, I'll read the beginners on my own. Just, you know, for myself. So let's have a look at this. This is the very new board that everybody in the around the world will be starting to play now two pendulum zones a blue one and a red one not fully sure what it really means but really it has gotten so big the um, extra deck zone the field zone the deck zone and the graveyard zone is missing half the card how stupid can you get i know i'm criticizing very badly on how this game has been foretold but Come on, Konami, you're, you're just making things a bit too, you know, like, really, really childish. But anyway, we're going to open the, this late in a bit, so let's check out the um, deck itself. There we go. See how well these cards play up. So, while right here we have... Um, Time Gazer Magician, Magician, and then we have a really badly grazed Stargate mag uh, mag um, another Magician. Oh no, this is 
Stargaze is at a time gauge. Okay. So that's the two um, foils of the whole lot. So here are the comments. This is the thing that I think is really, really stupid now, and I do not know why they've done it now. See the top? The addition supposed to be there. But now the first edition has gone right down to the bottom. Why have they done that? I do not have a clue. They made it so, so, so ridiculous. I do not know why they've done it. But we have Lost the Dragon. We've got Hunter Dragon, which is not bad. Millennium Shield. Dark Blade. Warrior de Guardia. Um, oh, God, what's his name? Chablin of the Six Samurai. Mystic, Mystical Elf, which I love. So we got some new cards here already. So we got ourselves Elsa, the Emporial Dragon, Dragon, the Warrior, a different Warrior. Oh, there's the, all the Warriors are here. Um, Golden Dragon Summoner, Blue Dragon Summoner, the Red Spiral Summoner. So all these are different types of Summoners, which are the flip cards, which um, are for your um, Stargaze, if I remember. So we got Sorcerer's Spell Wall. Suple Squad, Lightning Vortex, Mystical Space Typhoon, Ego Boost, Axe of Despair, um, Lucky Iron Axe, Monster Reincarnation, Dark Factory of Mass um, Production, Poison of the Old Man, Trapple, Regeki Black, Dust Tornado, Shadow Spell, A Hero Merge, Soul Reincarnation, Jar of Greed, Magic Jammer, and Seven Tools of the Bandit. Okay, now let's have a look at um, the spells. Right, I'm just going to flip them over to my side so I can read them. So we have ourselves Stargazer Magician. If a Pendulum Monster... Right, right, let's, right, let's have a look. This is a Spellcaster Pendulum Effect. Once per turn, when you ex... Exactly one other pendulum you control and no other cards, it returned to your hand by the by an opponent's card effect bracket except during the damage step. You can special summon one monster from your hand with the same number with the same name as the returned to the hand. These these are just why on earth they made it so so complicated. Now we have Time Gazer Magician. Each turn, the first cards or card in the Pendulum Zone that would be destroyed by an opponent, opponent's card effect is not destroyed. I do not understand this. Why have they done this? Why? i got to check this out now, people. I know you guys are thinking this is going to be a bit too long. But really, I really want to get this through to your heads now, people, because... I do not know why people are starting to use these Pendulum cards. I don't think they're clever. I think they're pretty damn stupid. Should have stuck to the X and Y cards, the Synchro, the Fusions. That's it. That's all we need for Yu-Gi-Oh. Right, let's see. A Pendulum Monster card are the new kind of card that blurs the line between monster and spells. Why on earth do you want to do that? Come on! Easy enough, you can easily say, okay, let's have ourselves, um, let's see, big eye and put a dark hole with it. And then you got yourself a pendulum card. No, you can't do it. You, We should have stuck to normal types, effects, magics and traps. That's it. And plus a ritual card. That's it. That's all you need for Yu-Gi-Oh. You cannot make, do not make this too complicated for kids. This supposed to be a four, six year old kid. I would, I'm... I'm 18 years old, and I do not understand this. Let's carry on reading. They can be summoned as monsters to attack or defend. Or you can activate them as spell cards in your pendulum zone to activate extra special abilities and allow you to pendulum summon. Right, the, um, the um, right in the bottom here, the very, very small one that I, you need to have good eyesight to do this the pendulum effect when you play this card as a spell in your pendulum zone this is its effect some pendulum monsters can may not have pendulum effects so why the hell is it called a pendulum card come on this is stupid come on all right so we got ourselves the pendulum scales which is the um 
blue stone and the red stone that you see in the board. Pendulum scale is a, is a number that determines which monster you can special summon during a pendulum summon. The pendulum scale is this, is 1. Pretty freaking retarded. And the monster's effect. This is original now. You can play this card as a regular monster. This is its effect. Some pendulum monster cards may not have the monster that have monster effects. Why the hell would you do that? Why the hell would you? Why on earth are you? Why Konami? Why are you killing off Yu-Gi-Oh? Pokemon understood, and they said sorry, and then they got us X and Y. But now you just killed us. You gave us one great series of the new Generation Four, and now you're giving us this. A Generation 5? Why on earth would you split an effect monster and a spell? Why on earth would you do it? It's not right. It's not good. And I even say this right now. I think they've screwed up. I. This is why I'm putting an announcement to you guys in a bit. But first off, let's uh, sleeve these goddamn cards right now before I go and burst a bubble. But really, if you guys might be thinking, am I going to play with this deck? No, I am not. I am actually, this is what I'm actually doing. Every single card in this is all going to be split up in groups. And then I'm going to put them in my extra decks. I have decks that do not have a holographic. You guys say, do I like losing? Uh, no, but I have not lost in a matter of six months. I have not lost in six months because I use an amazing deck that doesn't have one hollow in it. You guys might be thinking, that's bullshit. That's actually not true. It's a zombie deck that can thrash anybody. I have actually defeated somebody with an Egyptian god card with it. Seriously, it's a beastly it's a beastly deck. But yep, yeah, there you have it. You got yourself two great, two, well, you guys might be thinking, awesome hollows. But to me, shit hollows. They are not really nice. I don't like them. But still, I can react saying, oh baby, they're amazing. But no. This is thing that I still think it still twists me over, right? I'm gonna show you right now to a normal card, right? Uh, have I got a normal card? Yep, yeah, from last year, right? I've got myself an artifact liberty, all right? This is what's so so different and saying why on earth they've done it and they've made it so bad. Right here, you have the rottle dragon, right? Pretty nice normal thing, right? It's pretty good. I like it. But look what they've changed. The first edition is there. Everybody knows that it's there. But now they moved it down there. If a kid or even a guy goes on and comes back to Yu-Gi-Oh! And remembers that a fake card is one that has doesn't have a goddamn non-edition there. And it has a gold square. They'll class that as a fake. Now that we've started playing them still. We now know that the first edition is at the bottom. Why on earth have you done that? I do not know why. It was perfectly fine there. Yes, you could move it there when it's these cards, the pendulums. But could you at least keep them there? They're a lot, lot better and a lot more nicer. I rest my case. But anyhow, people, let's get on to see what we can actually get with these, with this random pack. The um, super pack, whatever you guys call it. But before we check it out, let's read the back here and tell us what we can get. There are 15 cards in the whole set, but you can only get 10, so you have to buy this twice if you're lucky. You always will get yourself a, a Odd Eye Dragon and a Dark Hole. The other cards that are in this are Death Volgoth, okay, Kaiser the Light Munch, DD Warrior Lady, which is great, um, Scar Chain, amazing, Amazonas Net Sage, which I definitely will use. Injection Fairy Lee, which I will use. The A Force, great card. Reinforcement of the Army, great. Swords of Revealing Light, definitely will use. Mirror Force, absolutely. Call of the Haunted, definitely. Magical Cylinders, definitely. And Divine Wrath, brilliant. I hope to God we get these cards out. And I God hope they actually are commons. If they're not, if they're hollows, I do not mind. But if they're commons, I'll be ten times happy. So let's check them out. So we have ourselves the ultra rare Odd Eye Dragon. Pretty nice card. I like it. And we have our ultra rare Dark Hole, which is always classic. Destroy all monsters on the field. 
What can go wrong? So let's carry on looking. So nice, we got DD Warrior Lady. Lady, awesome. We got the light um, Monarch. Okay, well, that was a good card. That we got um, Death Volsturf. Okay, that looks cool as well. I like that. Divine Wrath. Now that's what I'm talking about. So let me put the cards that I really like to get there and put these ones. That's okay. So awesome. I'm happy with that. Yes, Magical Cylinder. Now we're talking. Call out the Haunted as well. Brilliant. Yes! Swords of Revealing Light. Now we're happy. And Mirror Force! Yes! Okay, we've done really well in that pack then. I'm happy with that. Six out of... Um, well, we got we got ten out of 15, but six of them are defos. Definitely will be using. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I'm very, very sorry that I was raging a lot about this new collection, but... What can I say about it? I don't like it. But really, I have to grin and bear it, and hopefully they do something well with it. I just definitely, God, hope they do not mess it up and put it with um, the old retro cards, like a Dark Magician, or Blue Eyes, or Red Eyes, or freaking Cyber Dragon, or the Elemental Heroes, or a Destiny Hero, or something like that. If they do that, ho, oh, they're going to get shanked to death. Because, God damn it, they cannot screw it up anymore. As they have been. But what it is. The pendulum cards to me. Are not going to be used. But definitely the other cards will be used. Except for Dark Hole and Odd Eye Dragon. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed my wrath. And I'll see you guys next time. For more Pokemon card openings. Stay tuned for the announcement. See ya.